What's shaking YouTube? It's your boy Greybeard Gamer bringing you another epic best rushing class setup. But before we get into the video, make sure you smack that like button. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe. We got lots of tip videos, best class setups, gun reviews, anything and everything you're going to need to be the best COD World War II player you can be. But let's go ahead and jump into this class. As you can see on screen, we're switching it up today. We're going for speed over stealth, and we're running the Airborne Division. We're running the Type 100 Righteous Variation with extended mags, rapid fire. Hunker is our basic training skill. The P08 is our secondary, and we're running Sticky Grenade as our lethal. Now I know what you're thinking. The Type 100 definitely has limitations, but let me tell you something. When you combine it with the Airborne division this gives you an opportunity to move quicker in gunfights strafe quicker and the type 100 has zero recoil that's right you heard me zero recoil if you've ever used it you already know that but you throw the rapid fire on there it does not affect the recoil at all it's shocking and this thing will absolutely hose down your enemies as you can see on the screen i'm laying waste to this team and i'm doing it pretty much one on five or one on six in this instance I got lucky, but to be good, sometimes you need luck, and you just need to use cover, you need to know when to hide, reload, come back for more, and with this class, with the hunker basic training skill on here, regardless of the nades that they throw at me when I'm capping a flag, i still able to survive it and win many, many gunfights. This class is really fun to play with, however, there are limitations with the Type 100 any variant that you use but the type 100 in general has limitations especially up close because it takes a, it has a longer time to kill than say the ppsh but it's very much a rushing class and very much an enjoyment to run with you've got to try this class i think probably the accuracy makes up the difference in close quarters combat because you're able to stay on target longer and you're able to take out your enemies quicker because all of your bullets are finding their mark this class i i was shocked when i put this thing together i actually stumbled on it by accident because i accepted the challenge of 400 kills with the airborne division i wanted to throw the type 100 on there because i've been struggling a little bit with my accuracy and boy was i shocked at the way i went off on this team i think i finished 37 and 12 or 39 and 12 it was whatever it was it was incredible. Actually, I think it might have been 47 and 12. Yeah, it was 47 and 12 is what I finished up with. And this class absolutely does not disappoint. You're able to rush. You're able to keep the pressure on the enemy. And if you're playing a game type like Domination, you're going to be a pest in their spawn. And they're not going to be able to get out to be any kind of threat to win the match. It's absolutely the most enjoyment I've had with the Type 100 in the, is this particular class on screen. And you've really got to give it a shot. If you're struggling with your aim and accuracy or you're struggling in those one-on-one -on -one gunfights, close quarters combat, this is going to be a crutch class for you, fellas. This class is going to allow you to stay on target easier. It's going to help you win those gunfights. And it's going to improve your accuracy overall because of the low recoil. I have not ran a grip on the Type 100. Uh, one of my viewers on the Type 100 class setup that I had before he stated that in the comments. He's absolutely true. There's no need for a grip on the Type 100. This class right here is is a accuracy dream because you can take out your enemies and snap on target so quickly with this weapon. It's fun to play with. This class enables you to play the objective, but also destroy your enemies. I had the top number of caps in this game. I had 10 caps, 11 defends. 47 kills and 12 deaths that's absolutely domination in a game of domination you just got to give it a try guys but anyway we're coming down to the end of the video i certainly appreciate you watching again make sure you smack that like button subscribe if it's your first time here as always love you thank you appreciate it all my name is graybeard gamer and i'm out